a lot of what we become is from where we came from. And so a lot of that is cultural, educational. And I mean, today, right now in the United States, we're seeing millions of people coming up from Venezuela and Argentina and South America coming up. And I don't think they have the same mindset as you. So I'm curious, what was that like? Uh, why did you come up here? And how did you come up with 200 bucks? And like, how did that work out? Yeah, so age of 16, I graduate from high school. Thankfully, my parents put me in an English speaking school. It cost $300 a year. So I was able to learn not the colloquialisms and the specificities of English. I think I, I adopted this. I've, I've also been in America for over a decade at this point. Yeah. I'm 28 and arrived when I was 16. So I was able to learn the language and uh, get quite eloquent uh, with it. But at the age of 16, $200 in a suitcase, my parents uh, got me, well, they, they, didn't, they didn't get me a flight. My One of my family members uh, was actually working for the airline, Argentina Airline, and I was able to get a flight attendant spot. So wherever the flight attendant seat sit, and I think right. it was, I think in Spanish it's called a yam seat or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but that's where I sat. And then I had family members in the U.S., stayed with them, worked all sort of odd jobs, pressure washing basketball courts, cleaning toilets, flipping wings, flipping pizzas. And then in the year 2000, end of 15, 2016, my first exposure to anything digital was I had a fellow server and I was working a restaurant 2015 and he was like, Hey, have you heard of Bitcoin? That was the first bullet. Remember that was the first kind of the 15, yeah. 16. It was, it was, That's when I got in. It was, it was peaking. So I was like, this is expensive. I don't know what this is. Bitcoin is a couple hundred bucks. I couldn't really afford it, but you know what? Let me take a couple dollars and put them on Bitstamp. But I wasn't really part of crypto, but that was my first exposure to anything internet. 2016 came around, got exposed to everything that was e-commerce. I said, hey, I'm gonna go live with my brother, $200 a month. That's what I paid him for rent, sleep on his couch. And I built my first online business, which was selling and reselling online digital assets. What so was uh, Instagram pages, building those accounts, selling them. Uh, what was Facebook ads for different and agencies. How did, you, how did you figure out that you wanna buy and sell Instagram accounts? Because people were willing to do it. So for example, people would hit me up and they would but did, did you have like a friend that was doing it? So you're like, everybody oh. was doing okay, it. So this was what, this was the craze of the meme pages back in the day. It was when the meme pages were going crazy. So people would build up a niche of a meme page and then they would grab an e-commerce store, right. run some Instagram story ads to it, boom, milk it, go to another page. What I would do is just build up the pages a little bit and then sell the pages to e-com guys or build people's pages, sell them to them, flip Instagram usernames, anything that I could do, hustle, make money on. Them. So on that, in, in that regard, I think a lot of people are caught up today and I gotta find my passion. I don't know if this is what I wanna do. Is this what I was made for? And it's like, dude, sometimes you dude, just gotta make how money. Much, how much money is there in digital arbitrage? It's insane. No, I, I get it. But the point I'm making is I think so many people are paralyzed with inactivity because they don't know what they want to do. And I'm guessing, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm guessing this wasn't like your dream calling in life. It was like, hey, there's an opportunity. Confucius once said, if you do not economize, you will agonize. So it's very true. You, it, it's, people are like, oh, I need to be a business owner. No, you don't need to be a business owner to make money. You just need to make money. Right. Becoming a business owner is high risk. You're the last one to get paid, brother. Like, you're the last. So everybody gets paid here, whether the, the business works or not, the video editor is still getting paid. The, right. Everybody's getting paid, but we're not. Yeah. So how can you make money in, in the beginning? Arbitrage, sales anything that you can get your hands on. So you just saw an opportunity like, hey, I, I, jumped see, in. I see people doing this. I'm just going to jump in and figure it out. 100%. Just, it. just jumped in. And, and that's the piece that I want to hit. So many people are paralyzed with fear because they don't know what they want to do. And it's like, just start making money. You don't know what you want to do until you start doing things that you don't like. Last year, I made millions of dollars doing coaching programs and I decided I didn't like them. Mm. But I wouldn't know that until I had done them, right? Uh,